Hello, everybody. Welcome to Red Cup Talk. My name is Oshawan Alvarez. You can call me Osh. We're going to go around and introduce ourselves, and then we're going to get right into the topic. So first, we're going to start with our man Juan. Say a little bit about yourself, yeah. Juan Garcia, CEO of Curry Ventures, me and Maria. And we're here having a main hour. I'm Yancy. Follow me on Instagram, 64BK718. I'm here to represent. <laughs> I'm Chris Magic. I'm a kid. This year, the men's having a good time. You learn it right now. Chris Magic, I'm Theo. I run TPP in New York City, plus size events. Been in the community for a while. Here, just having a drink, having a smoke with my brothers. Wanted to chime in on this event, represent for the big brother. You know what I mean? Good, good. Cheers, cheers it up. Cheers, cheers it up. Cheers. 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 We all agree that we're not representative the way that we should be. We feel that we need a little extra help. So how do you think do it? they can come out and give us a little bit And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with Yancey because he, he's had a... How a can a woman here. represent me? Yeah, well, represent so just, men. Just like bring, bring equality, bring... Um, just like the, the plus size community, how can the plus size community also include men? Because right now, if, if, if I'm correct, we agree that the plus size community is guided towards women. Mm -hmm. But we got to shine a light on men, too. So how do you feel that? What's the way? Shine a light on us! Shine a light on us! Hey, hey, hey! Shine a light on us! I think, I think they should start doing things like Curvy Ventures do. They'd have like a men hour. Mm -hmm. I think they should do stuff like that. I've done the men hours, and it's just people literally walking around or sitting there smoking cigars. Ain't nobody talking like they've been talking about it. Mm -hmm. you, need, you need somebody who's going to actually host it. The majority like, of men go there looking for boxing. Yeah, right. So they're not even going to the men hour. How many men you get at the men hour? You get a lot? No, no, we got a lot. If you go to my webpage, our website, you got a whole team dedicated to yourself. Plug yourself, man. Plug yourself, because you, you need to know where it is. Yeah, no, yeah where tell, us, tell us where to go. No, for real, www.freemensions.com. Go to our site. It's a whole page that it takes you up. You go there, you see the whole one on your yard. I don't want to get pictures. What's the itinerary? What y'all talk about in the man hour? What are we talking about right now? Like this? Oh, right. Us? No woman allowed. They, they be trying to no get in there. They do. They be trying to get in. They be trying to get in. I'm not be the same woman that don't let you in the summer. No, 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 no. But we do. No, no, no. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Right. I'm gonna tell you. I love and I support everybody. I support every promoter, every organization across the country. I fuck with anybody unless they fuck with me or do something personal that nobody's ever had. So I watch. What is it that you guys have? Um, Curvy C, whatever. Yeah. And I just put a suggestion like, yo. I want to see a topic, and they're trying to hit it before about how people see that weight loss surgery. Because, yo, I used to see it by the way of time, and I used to see it before I had my surgery, how, you know, girls or guys, whatever. Beforehand, they felt one way, and I think they said they think that they're sleeping on a sleeping, they think that they're fucking down on and shit like that. I want to see a conversation about that. You know that so sleep. many people see weight loss surgery as a negative thing or as a vain mm -hmm. thing or whatever the case may be. You went to the Curry Street. You took about Curry Street. Oh, I know that. I'm, 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 you said it. I touched base on it. I was like, you know, people do that with a whole structure. You know, I think we should have a whole one just on yeah. that. I would love to speak on that. You know what's crazy, though? Because a lot of, when you think about it, you go out and you just look on mainstream media and stuff like that, you're going to see a lot of things, a lot of women talking about, I have a woman support group. Right. I have a support group where women come, we talk about our experiences. I have never heard of a man's a man support group. group. Right. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Fight. Fuck you yeah. guys, we got a spot called the Brody. And that's what I like. Everybody got the Brody. You, you, you know how it is. When you go to a fight, we'll sit down together. It's a bond. I don't know how you think, but it's, it's like, oh, it's a real bond. You, 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 you and I, 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 you Yes, thank you. Well, That's well, what I'm about to say. Well, we got young kids involved. But you well, got well, to the point. You can see some dudes that are older enough, especially at the bathroom, wherever they go. 
Let's not just limit this to bad people. Oh, you can go to the bar and talk about mentality. Yeah, it's about you know mentality. Mean? Right. How people don't have that same mentality. Yeah, like, sure. I said this before. No, a lot of the lot of people think, oh, he's talking shit, whatever case you do. Mm. But you know what? I've caught enough bodies in my life. Right. And you know what? Whatever that chick told me before and got back, yeah, I am choosing who I give dicks to. Yeah. And that's you should be like that. That's what that's what Chris said. It's time. There's too much time and energy spent just wasting your time arguing or whatever somebody. Right. Mm -hmm. You reach a point in life that you have to move forward. That's like being in high school days. You you, you, you get them hooked back then. Right now, it's about it's uh, and a lot of it is over a lot of it is over the wrong stuff. Like about with supporting men in this community, I definitely agree with the main group, but. Bringing in the mind, bringing in the minds and the worries of men who are really going to speak, because it doesn't even matter about some age. Some of these men in their late forties just be stunting, and they be stunting the mass, whatever bullshit they got going on, whatever insecurity they got going on. But they just stunting. They don't want to get real, right? And I think with and I think with that, it touches on some other topics about even men being friendly with just the way some of these dudes are carrying themselves. But that's another that's another story. My first fucking bath. My first fucking bath. Right? I saw him. And I saw him. Damn, right here. What I do, man? I saw him dancing my first bath, and I saw bitches literally throwing their panties at this nigga. And I was like, okay, I see how it is. Right. All right. And back then, not for nothing, at that bath, I was the only Hispanic dude there. Now, oh, cool. see, now here's, the thing, though, here's the thing. Now we touched on what we're doing as men. Right. What do you think women can do? Because women are always asking about, oh, we need everybody's support. We need, and that's true. I think, but we we all just need I think the same way we support the plus size community right. as a man for women, it should, it should be the same way. Right. Well, I'm, I'm not saying. I'm not saying all of them. All of them does the same, but we need more of a focus. Yeah, so, more, but but even more so to add to that. Women need to encourage, and women need to like push that for what they want. When they say what they want in a man, and this is go back to the man back. You say what you want in a man, but yet you're bashing the same dudes in the community, right? You need to believe that we are those kind of men to begin with. Have the, and even if you don't believe that, have the confidence that there are enough of us in the community out there. Believe that. Believe that. Because they go in there with the test. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You're saying that women need to say what they want in the man, but they don't have to want you for them to empower you. No, no, no. But that's what I'm talking about. They don't have to find you attractive. But what I'm talking about in general. You feel good about yourself. No, but what I'm talking about in general is like some of the qualities. So we were in here talking about, oh, well, men talk about, like, we talk about real stuff. And some of these women just in general say they want that in a guy. But then when they're talking about us in general, right, it, it's a whole different thing. And I think that that kind of, that kind of like, sets it off with the perspective that they come in with. You gotta remember, a lot of right. no, they gotta remember, a lot of women get burned by men like that. Okay. okay. So that it's true. Yeah, no, it's not wrong. Men, but that's why I say, have the confidence that there are enough of, that there are enough of us out there who ain't gonna do that. Who are gonna do that. Hey, 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 Let's talk about numbers. Numbers run the world, right? Right. right. So We're talking about the community, which right. is 80 to 85 percent female. Right. Okay. Yeah. So they dictate right. everything else. So one part of that is the plus size men don't feel as confident, whatever, because there's so many of the population that are females are looking for. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. There's an undercover. There's, there's, there's undercover. There's undercover women that like BBW men. There's undercover women that like BBW men. Even though they say they don't. So we keep talking about the community. It's a whole world out there. Yeah, exactly. The whole world. I get no play. I get no play. Right. Yes, you know, know, maybe I'm going out on a limb by myself yeah. by saying this. In what we call the real world, it's way more acceptable to see what they call it. What do you call it? A guy that's not like a uh, BHM. What do you call it? A dad, dad bod. A dad, dad bod. Yeah. It's okay dad to have bod. a dad bod right. with a model type, sick personality, or whatever that you see in mainstream. 
ten years in the community. Right. That's true. That's that's the big difference. But so my thing is, as that dude who's been in both worlds, because before before I had my surgery, when I was huge and all these shit like. Oh, okay, you said two for two, blah, 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 blah. To now when no. I walked away and all these people are like, yo, Theo, come see me. I'm like, nah. I'm trying to touch it. You got to look at both aspects. Like, you know, we go to our little trend, we give God's love. You got to think, bring also, like, you know, a bigger woman might go for a job into me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. You got that slim chick here. They might give to the slim chick before they give to the bigger woman. And the big boy, not more qualified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hell of a guy. You'll be a big guy walking there. They give us a job and be qualified. But you know what? That goes to like mainstream society. No, they're not talking about being a person. A bigger yeah. person is going to be lazy or whatever. But let me tell you something. I interview all the time. Look, where I do, where my age, what I take you, I do all the time. Like, even when it came to Iowa, when she was just here to come to work for my age, I told him to build the guy, whatever. I look at work quality. I'm at a level, I'm at a level, at a boss level, where I don't care what you look like, you do the work. And I, you know what, and I agree with you, and I thank you for that, because you have to look at everybody equally, but what we're trying to figure out is, and maybe Nancy, you can help us with this, Mm -hmm. what can women specifically do? Because, as maybe we know, we, we just, we look at everybody equally, we help you with your confidence, we make sure to put you out there to, and be confident in you so you can be confident in yourself. What can women do for all the penny that you anyway? There's no reason. Maybe they need to stay out of the way. Maybe they need to stay out of the way. Maybe they need to stay out of the way. I'm going to get mad at you on this. I'm going to go on record and say one thing. Okay, this is on record. I'm going to go on record and say one thing. There'll be a lot in the same groups. I mean, like, I don't know how many hundreds of groups that are promoting whatever they should be. Where they are the same chicks that promote, oh, let me see a teddy bear. I want to see a big dude. There are some girls that love right. the big dude, yes. too. Yes. A lot of them. We need more than that. Yeah. Right. But we're talking about numbers and population. It's always the other way. And what my thing is, I'm all about equality. And, you know, those who know me know I'm an actual social worker. Mm-hmm. So I'm always about, you know, double standards and so forth. You guys want this community to go forward in a nice way? Just give the bigger dudes some love, too. No, I'm saying that. Yo, acknowledge it. Give us some type of love. Give us some type Jump of in the love. inbox. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> jump in the DM, bro. <laughs> but like, yo, I see you. So, yeah, you know, still look good or whatever. Yeah, you you look say, good. when you say a promoter, you have to see our trade records. It's all with us also. We have to promote them. Right. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? We have to, we have to use our platform mm-hmm. for that. See, when I use my platform, when I put pictures, I put a daily picture of a big man. So I believe us like that. Listen, so we have to, yeah, we have to put our path on first in order for it to proceed forward. But part of so it also has to go beyond past size. Like the one thing I've, I've, I've been okay with, I've been cool Bro. with is when they, is, is them saying instead of BBW party, size acceptance, but also, it's also about people says because once you get into the parties, once you get into the events, Suddenly, it comes about the people, what they bring to the table. Even if some of them are looking at it black and white or two-dimensional, one-dimensional, people accept it. Personalities, different walks of life. And how can you promote that? Nothing, nothing so, how can you promote, promote that? All shape and size anyway. Yes, so exactly. I mean, people as a whole. Because a lot of people, a lot of people like he said, the weight loss surgery, right? Yes. But then bigger. Now, he's a smaller fit. Yeah. I can't tell him he's not accepted where I'm at now. Mm-hmm. No, you know what I mean? He's getting a TV post to come talk to right. And I you know what's funny? Right? My sister, my sister's a skinny chick. I was on my way to a bath in Jersey once. She's like, can skinny girls talk to you? I'm like, yeah! Hell yeah! yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. 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 Like, so, but a lot of people don't know. Right. Right. I'm not trying so, to do a shameless plug, but let me tell you right now. And the only one who understands this is Nancy. Out of everybody at the table, maybe Juan, because he knew Miley too. I only started TCC in New York because I'm a close friend of mine that passed away. This was her thing. Mm, right. I'm not a sociable person at all. At all. And people who know me know I don't like to be small talk. I don't like to talk to random people off the street. Right. I'm a I'm a straight up sushi from growing up to now. I've changed my ways where I take me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I can honestly say right now at TCC, I get big, small talk, I get transies, I get everything. Like I'm so proud of where we went now mm-hmm. at TCC now. Where I got groups coming in that are fucking this skinny, this big, or whatever, yeah. and everybody goes just for the vibe, go yeah. for the yeah. having fun part. Right. And I think, and though that should make me, I never really, I'm be honest, I never really sold into it, and now I understand what body positivity means. 
only because I've seen girls come to my events that used to inbox me. Oh, I got social anxiety. I've never been to a place where I'm supposed to be. I don't want to shout nobody out. I'm not going to give no name. But somebody who had literally no. medications and psychologists <laughs> and everything, and they was like, I want to try and come. I want to make them down the block and put them into my event. Mm-hmm. Right? See, just so they can understand what it's like to just socialize and exactly. have fun with whatever they can see. And that's right. And, and six months about. later, six months later, this chick was out here smashing everything in my body. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, like, yo. So see, you know what? That's, that's something that women can do. Because think about this. As a man, right? Nervous to go into the party. A lot of us have been nervous trying to go into a party, yeah. trying to buy ourselves over one of the friends, you know what I'm saying? Imagine if a woman came up to you and said, hey, how are you doing? You doing all right? Let me introduce you to some of my friends so we can all just talk. Right. You know what I'm saying? Not trying to hit on you, not trying to go for your digits, not trying to be in your inbox, not trying to talk about your six pack. They just come up to you and they say, hey, let's chat. Right. That's, some, that's the responsibility that I think that we all should take upon ourselves. That goes, exactly. back, that goes back to my first battle. But then you got some preach out there that's just going to try to fuck. Right. Yeah. 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 You, you take the good with the bad. You take the good with the bad. You take the good He's talking about his point about all kinds of people coming. Pulling up to the end because we all got to get some refills. Yeah. Yeah, we, we all have to help each other. Yeah. Now, like Theo touched on it, 85% of... 85% of this movement, whether it be a BBW movement or just a positivity movement, is women. Right. Women have the power in this community. Women have the chance to promote what they want to promote, and they will be seen. Just make, it, are make us feel more welcome and desired. Right. Exactly. That's all you want. That's it. Right. All it's, you want is to, to make us feel accepted. You, know, you guys want, right? women want to promote, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> women <laughs> want to feel welcome. Right. right. They right. want to feel beautiful. <laughs> as much as I want to say, cause as much as I want to say, men like you know we gotta like we try to change the narrative as well. We can always do so much because we're gonna put our part. But give the women the ammunition to share the voices, right? They, they have the power. Give as much ammunition to them to do that. It's up to all of us. At the end of the day, yeah. it's up to all of us because we are one community. No matter what the percentage is, right. no matter if it's eighty five percent women, eighty five percent trans, eighty five percent men. Make yourself approachable too. Make yourself open. Make yourself right. for the entire community. That's what mm-hmm. equality is about, and right. that's what we are about. No, put yourself. You. Put yourself. We just want to feel loved, man. right? And, and, and the thing about it is, at the end of the day, no matter who you are, big, small, put yourself out there. Put your character out there. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Thanks. You can find me at um, Instagram six four bk seven one eight. <laughs> One go off here. Instagram, Curry Ventures. Mr. Curry Ventures. Facebook, Curry Ventures. Also, Curry Ventures Travel Group. Man, we just took the yeah. whole prize. Chris? Um, Instagram, Alpha Two Rays at the end, underscore Omega 14. Chris Magic on Facebook. You might have to write that one down. Theo? So you can find me all over Facebook. You can find me on the TR, and I got two pages my promotional page. Fieldpartypromo.com, where I do the parties in your city. As you see, I also do parties across the country. I host events in different places. You know, it's all about the vibe. It has nothing to do with big, small, whatever it is in your vibe. I want to bring that New York vibe all across the nation. I don't know. And, and then and for go. me, oh, no, my oh, bad. Oh, hey, 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 we can't get a plug. You can't get a plug, man. Hey, 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 and then, of course, I'm Ash. I'm an admin in Lux Curves. That's L U X E. You can hit us up. We're all about. Of course, you You got it. You can hit us up. We're all about positivity. We cooperate with everybody, no matter who you are. Everybody. Rock your rolls. And cheers, fellas. Sydney Best. Thank you so much for the JDM Best.